1916, Europe is burning in the flames of World War I. But even as the Russian Empire fights for its life against foreign enemies, an influenza of rage threatens to tear it apart from the inside. Russian dukes, politicians, and peasants make desperate grabs for power as the Tsar and his family cling in vain to the last threads of their glittering dynasty. And in the middle of it all, Rasputin. To those who adore him, he's a holy miracle, a Christ reborn to heal their wounds, save their souls, resurrect their country. To those who hate him, he is the devil incarnate, a dangerous charlatan determined to manipulate the Tsar, bed the Empress, and destroy the motherland. In this novel of historical fiction, Rasputin's daughter is called before a revolutionary court to reveal the true Rasputin, a man far stranger than the myth, his fate far more terrifying than the rumors. You are summoned by order of the 13th section. What in the name of God do you want from me? To know the truth about your father. What could I possibly know? Was your father spying for the Germans? In my father's life. It was as impossible to tell who was a friend as who was a lover, let alone who was an enemy. Blood. I have seen the entire river Neva running with blood. But he loved Russia. And it would appear the Empress. I kiss your hands and lean my head on your blessed shoulder. Oh, how... It wasn't like that. Your father claimed to be the instrument of God. Help me, please, Father Grigori. I am here, Ariosha. And through me, God's will shall be done. But I saw him heal with my own eyes. Tell me about the night of his murder. What you know is a myth. I have to find Papa right away. I have to warn him. He's in terrible danger. Maria, help me. Papa! Run, Maria, run. I need to know the truth of Rasputin. I will tell you these things. 